the easy access to black women and the uh, that specific industry just became a bit closed off because black people went away and had the insular communities. But that um, zest for black flesh did not go away. And so um, another reading comes to mind. There's this book I read called uh, Raising Up a Child. Now, don't get it confused with that one book called Train Up a Child. That's different. We're talking about Raise Up a Child. It was on the book. It's an older black woman, an elder black woman holding what looks to be like her biracial grandchild, which is very light skinned grandchild. Um, but I remember reading just like I'm here to read about what it is, uh, what this elder black woman has to say, you know, and she recalls um, that <clears throat> it's been a while since I read it because actually after I read this, I put the book down. I was just like appalled and I didn't want to read any further, <clears throat> but it was in the early 1900s, maybe the gosh, maybe 60s or so, she, um, that's, that's, not, that's not the early 1900s, <laughs> in the 1960s or so, I don't know, um, she um, came back home to um, the South, I can't remember the exact state, but she had been either up North or in the West, but she came back what home, I don't remember, but her dad is still there, and, and everyone, and shopping or rather gosh I, would, I should read this again and tell it properly if I can find that book but anyway I think she had to go to the post office and she um some kind of way her cousin not her blood cousin like her first cousin knew that she was going to be in town he basically had a, a setup where he was pimping out black girls to the different like white men who came into town like like postmen and different and different people um but the only thing about the pimping that he was doing he was actually setting these girls up to be by these men he said he basically set his own cousin up with the local postman to like sexually assault her and he get paid for it right somehow she gets away she tells her dad and when she told her dad all he did was kind of like hold his head and shame and I don't think he did anything about it. And that broke my heart even further. But it's, but I'm, it, that realization just, I just put the book down. And because I realized <clears throat> just how much the rape of black women also is a, a high um, commodity for black men or had been. And it makes me think of what, what they're calling stripper music, which, you know, ties right in because um, those worlds definitely <clears throat> overlap. And with that being said, um, black women also taking their sexuality back. 